Lindsay. I hope you're having a great day and I hope it only gets better. Welcome back to Minecraft. Hey, would you look at that? I'm doing the like the Minecraft YouTuber thing. Isn't that cool? It's really unfortunate that I don't have Optifine because it hasn't updated yet because I'm good. <laughs> Snow is going to have to do the edit like the zooming manually in editing and it just it doesn't hit as much for me because I can't just press C for emphasis unfortunately but anyway in the last episode we set ourselves up a little house we set ourselves up a farm and most importantly we got two of our wolves immediately off of the list we got the pale wolf which is the classic minecraft wolf look at me there you go and we got the Woods Wolf, which, as I said in the last episode, I think, I did make sure to go and check exactly what the variants I'm looking for are called. And just to rattle off those real quick, the Pale Wolf and Woods Wolf we have. And then we need the Rusty Wolf, the Spotted Wolf, the Black Wolf, Stripe Wolf, Snowy Wolf, Ashen Wolf, and Chestnut Wolf, which uh, I'm not... I can't remember. I think the Rusty Wolf is in the Sparse Jungle, which is one of the rarest biomes in the game. So it's going to be a while before we knock all of those out. But anyway, before we get into the actual content of this video, I'm actually going to head down to see Howie real quick because the dogs are jambling my brain. Hey, Howie, how you doing, buddy? All right, cool. Of course, we have to cover the comment of the week. I took this comment from that sapphic trans gal where they say, my favorite furry with my favorite game. I took this off of, uh, I believe the most recent at this point, Hollow Knight episode, even though this, this Minecraft video is definitely going to come up after a couple more Hollow Knight episodes, but it was the episode where I came back to playing Hollow Knight after the short hiatus I took. Not intentionally, of course, there wasn't anything I was trying to avoid or anything. I just didn't end up playing Hollow Knight. <laughs> I don't really have a theme for this week, so go ahead and leave a comment down below saying whatever you want. It can be silly, it can be funny, it can just be a total non sequitur that doesn't mean anything. But if I end up liking it, you could be the next comment of the week. And with that out of the way, we can actually go back to us playing Minecraft now. And for full transparency for all of you uh, not subscribed to me on Patreon, uh, this is literally the day after I recorded the first episode of Minecraft just because I, I wanted to get back in and play it again. I just I couldn't stop thinking about it. I just wanted to play Minecraft. <laughs> so yeah, we're immediately back into it. Back on the bull hit again. And of course, we have a couple things on the docket for this episode. The main thing that I want to do is I want to I want to I want to make my house fancy because uh, this 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 ain't vibing with me. We have the makings of a fancy house, but we don't really have a fancy house, and uh, that that just doesn't fly with me. So I feel like the best course of action here is to just kind of go through and hollow out the area a little bit more to make it more like a uniform shape, and then we can uh, worry about uh, replacing everything with wood at some point. Hey pup, how you doing? Keep watch over this. I'll uh, have to move everyone out when I go to like actually like remodel this place. Oop, look at me, do I live in a barn? We'll worry about wood in a minute, in, in, a, in a minute. What we're gonna worry about right now is just kind of carving out this a little bit to make it a, like a little bit more homey and uh, r not realistic, but you know, more acceptable looking. So we'll just run through real quick and start carving out walls to until we can get it to a relatively like homey, comfortable shape instead of me just living in a cave because that was not the original plan of this uh, this here house. No, no, no. I wasn't just going to do the thing that everyone does where their first house is just in a cave and they set up in a cave and that's all they do. I wanted to make a house inside a hill and it just so happens that I spawned in a cave. That makes things a little bit easier on me with the fact that I already have some space dug out, so I have to, I should not be using my only iron pickaxe. So we're gonna go ahead and put that away so I don't accidentally use durability. And we're just gonna make a bunch of stone pickaxe pickaxes, like uh, five for now, that should work. Unfortunately, we will now have to uh, deal with a drastically decreased uh, speed at which we can, you know, clear stuff out, but at least, we won't be wasting our single iron pickaxe that we have for the time being. Because uh, I do need to go out and get more iron, but um, that's going to be later in the episode because I have I have some ideas. Now, as for the hallway that leads down to the farm and everything, I feel like this is going to be largely the same because that's just like my second back door, so to speak. Because I also have this up here, which is going to be a back door that leads to like my axolotl pond way down the road. But this over here... I've largely been using it as like a an escape of sorts. Yeah, we'll we'll move the the stairs out a little bit. Put the door there. Yeah, we'll do that. 
I'm gonna grab my axe because I'm not about to punch all that wood. As for what my specific plans for the rest of this video's content, my general plan is I need iron and I need like a good bit of it. So once I get my house all fancy and such, I'm going to be heading back down into the caves and we are going to work on getting me an actual like proper supply of iron and not just whatever I end up having. Nice staircase that leads out. Uh, can we get away with this? Yeah, we can, because there's going to be stairs. Shrunk bunk. There we go. I'm just going to carve this out a little bit so I don't hit my head. That, that'll work. Gives us the ability to just slap our head onto the roof to make us go real fast. And we'll fill, we'll fill that in with something at some point. But that, right there, works for the time being. Do I have cobble slabs? Two exactly. Hot dog. These are not going to be cobble, but... For the time being, they are, so at least we have symmetry for the time being. Speaking of symmetry, let's knock this out a little bit, just to have it like that. And then, do I want to have a little bit of roof there? I think I do. So we'll knock out this top layer, then we'll have it dip down over here to be like a, a divider into a new room, so to speak. So is that too wide? That's a two wide. Can I afford to make it a three wide? Ooh, I might be able to. Because I kind of want to have this be like a three wide doorway. That is kind of annoying that it's offset, but this isn't going to be, there isn't going to be doors here. It's just going to be a doorway. You know, actually, I don't need to dig out for that because the three is right here. So I could just build that up right there and have that be, yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, it's going to look ugly as heck right now, but we're going to be replacing it. No, we're going to replace it with logs. I remember now. Okay. Uh, so we we have cobble and spades, so we can we can knock this out at any point because we can just make a pickaxe. But until we have the wood to replace it, uh, okay, yeah, we're we're pushing this wall back because now it's not symmetrical at all. Until we have the wood to replace stuff, we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna have things looking too great around here. Although a little idea popped into my brain and organ, and uh, usually that's never good, but it might be for the time being. I'm sure it will only really become a bad idea once I actually have to act on it. That's usually how my ideas go. What is that idea, you may ask, and have probably asked? Well, in the last episode, near the end, when I went on an adventure to look for a structure and ended up finding our lovely pups, we bumped into a Sakura biome, a cherry tree biome, a cherry blossom biome, if you will. And I'm not sure if any of you have uh, seen these new cherry trees that aren't that new because it's been a little bit since they were added, but whatever. Their logs look real good. And I think if for nothing else, the floor and the ceiling, cherry wood would probably look pretty decent. And uh, if it if it's pink, like I remember, I might end up actually just replacing everything with cherry wood because I like pink. Not sure if you knew that with the everything I have being pink. And I'm just noticing now that this is not quite what I want. So we're going to just knock this out real quick. Do I have any smooth stone left over from when I smelted some? One. Okay. Uh, do I want to smelt? I'm going to replace it anyway. Oh, it's so ugly. I hate it. Well, I guess that gives us all the more reason to fancify stuff. <sighs> okay. We don't have the wood currently to replace all my walls, and the ugliness is really bothering me. I think uh, we're going to go ahead and go on that trek to find cherry trees real quick. I guess refine them. Rediscover them. Discover them like Columbus discovered America. He did. So with that in mind, we're actually going to go out here and we're going to knock down... Ooh, may maybe not quite yet because it's nighttime. Don't want to waste our ability on my new iron armor. We're going to head outside and we're going to knock down a tree and we're going to turn that tree into entirely sticks because I need them. So, well, let's go this basic Minecraft size tree. Slap those into logs. I think I had like two, that many. I don't remember and slap those into sticks. All right, cool. Why do we need 60 sticks? Six, why do we need 60 sticks, you, you may ask? Well, we don't, but we need a lot because we're gonna make ourselves three, count them, three stone axes. So now we have like three and a half and we have so many axes because I intend on going to that cherry blossom forest and essentially relocating it to my general vicinity so I don't have to make the trip every single time. We're gonna save durability on my iron stuff. And actually, you know what? Since iron's a precious commodity at the time, we're gonna keep my iron tools here. So now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, adventure. Go ahead and quit my shield. We're gonna go ahead and adventure southward to the cherry tree blossom biome area. I don't have utility boat. I knew I was forgetting something.
I don't have utility boat. It's a snowy cut it out, but uh, when I was re like, retrieving the pups and everything, and I was bringing them home, uh, they wouldn't spawn on me because I got too far away because the boat was too quick. Uh, so I had to go back and swim so that they would be able to keep up. And I think I left Utility Boat back where I had to go retrieve the dogs. So, Utility Boat number two coming right up. Live and learn, everybody. Hey, Drowned, how you doing? Don't mind me, big dog. I'm out of here. And I suppose while I uh, make my way back to the Cherry Tree Blossom biome, we'll go ahead and do the Patreon plug because I totally forgot to do it in the last episode of Minecraft. A huge shout out to all of my current patrons. Your support is very much appreciated, and I love you all very much. If you would like to support me in the channel, you can do so on Patreon for just $5 a month, and you'll get a bunch of cool perks, such as work-in-progress art, whether it be for thumbnails or just something I happen to be working on, early access to videos, and you'll get access to a special channel where I host all of my director's cut and uncut content for your viewing pleasure. Additionally, once I get enough patrons to support this kind of thing, I will actually start taking suggestions from my patrons for games to play on the channel. So if any of that strikes your fancy, head down to the link in the description and check out my Patreon. Once again, a huge shout out to all of my current patrons. Your support is very much appreciated. I'll say that however many times I would need to, which is a lot, because I want to make sure your support is appreciated. And now uh, let's go back to... Uh, cutting out this arduous journey back to the cherry blossom biome because i'm pretty sure it was on like the edge of where i stopped last time oh hold on uh snowy cut the transition real quick hey we found utility boat <laughs> cool take a penny leave a penny i'm taking both pennies and now that we have utility boat utility boat number two can be a backup utility boat back at home if i die far away from home i will have a utility boat ready on hand if i don't happen to have a uh, wood which i have trees all around me is hi pop Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't bring bones. Okay, uh, that's his dog. Um, we'll leave him be. <laughs> it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, it would make it so I have an even number of pale wolves to woods wolves, but on a whole, we, uh, <laughs> so long as we have one pale wolf and one woods wolf, we're fine. Ooh, there's an idea. Because they're different variants now, if you breed two different variants of wolves, does it pick one at random, or does it just, like, poop out whatever wolf they, like, you bred whatever biome you're in. I'd imagine it's the biome situation, because it's just spawning another dog. Oh, and before we uh, do the uh, pink wipe transition again, I did want to bring up, I intend on bringing a dog with me when I go out adventuring and whatnot, because, you know, this kind of the whole point of the series is to collect dogs, and, you know, armadillos are a thing now, and so is wolf armor. So I want to actually be able to, like, take a dog around with me. And there's an issue with that, in the fact that that's another ruined nether portal. Huh. Cool. There's an issue with that with the fact that the main weapon in Minecraft is the sword, and if you time it right and you wait for your attack to charge up again, you do a swipe in front of you, and that can damage your own dog. So, I'm also, incidentally, going to be making this series an experience I've never done before, which is using an axe as a weapon instead. I've always used a sword. Every single time I played Minecraft, I use a sword. Never changed, probably never, w probably never would have, but... At this point, we kind of need to. Another Fortune 2 Golden Shovel. Good to have around. Can I pick... I probably can't, but... Can I pick up magma with my hands? No. I was going to grab some some magma for the road, just in case I need to find myself an air pocket underwater. Popping back in for just a little bit, because we're closing in on the general direction that I saw the cherry tree biome in. I had the thought... It's really good that in the last episode, we found that zombie spawner near the end of our adventure. Because when I was looking at the uh, Minecraft wiki just now to see what specific variants I was looking for and where to find them, I did notice that for healing your wolves, rotten flesh is actually one of the best options on Java. Unfortunately for, like, bedrock and stuff, the uh, healing options you can use to heal your pups are way better. But for Java, at least, there is a split between healing items that give one heart and healing items that give two hearts. And thankfully, Rotten Flesh is in the group that gives two hearts. So I actually have an infinite supply of dog healing just kind of sitting in a hole somewhere. And speaking of somewhere, uh, we are running into a very, very distinct issue of the fact that I didn't actually run over to the Cherry Tree Blossom biome and uh, screen cap the coordinates of it. And uh, now I don't know specifically where it is. I found the I found a landmark I, where I was where the like underground area with all the cool waterfalls and stuff oh, that's pleasant and that's a very notable landmark but i don't remember how far from that the cherry tree biome was all i remember is i was running south i'm pretty sure it was on a mountain off to the right oh hello 
there. Okay, so we're definitely not anywhere near it because that's a that's a new biome. That's a lot of chickens, which I suppose could be worse because that was a savanna out there. And I'm pretty sure one of our wolf variants is out in the savanna. If absolutely nothing else, we can make a pit stop in the savanna, look for anything different out there, and maybe potentially scout some. Uh, Ooh, thunder. Scout some, uh, some paparinos for our adventure. And I can't quite remember, but I think the striped wolf... No, it might have been the spotted wolf. It's either the spotted wolf or the striped wolf that show up in the savannah. I hope it's the, the striped wolf, because the striped wolf is probably my favorite. Just opinion, man. Calm down. But a spotted wolf would be cool, and if absolutely nothing else, it helps us uh, come closer to our goal. So this isn't quite the adventure I was looking for, but it helps our adventure at large. We're going to putz around a little bit in the savannah to see if we can't scout out some some pups. I'm not seeing if there is any. Thankfully, there's not a whole lot of trees in the way to be able to... Ooh, that's a whole... That's a impact crater. Well, okay, I'm going to deal with you real quick, because I'm not going to go down there because I don't have a pick. But I want to check it out. Because this, this is a straight-up impact crater. A meteor landed here. Whoa. Cool. Alright, I'm going to screen cap this. Just in case we want to come back for an adventure. Actually, you know what? I'm going to learn my lesson from these stupid scre screenshots I took last time. And I'm going to take a picture of it. So I actually know where those coordinates lead. Because my past self is dumb, stupid, and filled with dummy stuff. Which is to say, I didn't <laughs> look at what I was taking the screenshots of. So I don't know what those coordinates lead to. I just have to go to them and figure it out. Which, speaking of, now that we have coordinates that lead to the savannah, we can come back at any time. And uh, that means we're going to turn back around and we're going to head back to the underground waterfall area and we're going to use that as a a waypoint of sorts a way sign if you will and we're gonna try and find that cherry blossom biome oh update hold on cut in real quick whoa look at this place this seed has some crazy world generation this is straight up like some some post-apocalypse like millennia in the future Nature has reclaimed everything sort of deal. All right, we're screen capping that as well. Th this really is like a post-apocalypse situation because like there was that impact crater we just ran into. There was another underground waterfall situation. It, these could just be like big ass sinkholes that formed like under lakes or something. That is super cool. As far as like recent Minecraft goes, that is like the coolest world generation I have seen. That's so that's so dope. And give me a second, I'm trying to light the creeper for you. And see what happens? See what happens when you don't fucking cooperate? Worst enemy in video game history. Alright, back to the task at hand, I suppose. Can't have shit in Detroit. Okay, all I can remember about the cherry tree biome was it was on a hill. A mountain, actually, because they're pretty big. So, if on my way back to the underground waterfall, I check out all of the mountains within the, like within eyesight of brown sheep, another brown sheep. That's two of them, hell yeah. But if I check all of the mountains within like eyesight of the underground area, the likelihood that it is like the mountain with the cherry tree biome on it increases tenfold, assuming there's 10 mountains. I may have made a silly not preparing fully to come out here cause uh, I'm getting low on food. And by low on food, I mean I'm out of food. I guess I just kind of, Figured, hey, if uh, I, I got all of this all of this wheat from that village I spawned just outside of, I'm never going to run out of food. And then I ran out of food. Here's the... Hold on. No, this is a different one. I don't remember this part. 1330... No, this this is it. Because it should dip down right here into another pot. Yeah. No, this is different. This is an entirely different one. I, I might be tripping. Okay, now this, this is the same one, because there's where I, like, built out. Okay, uh, so going more south from that did not work out. So let's try going more north. Yeah, there, it was literally right there. Okay. <laughs> I went too far was my issue. It was a lot closer than I remembered it being. So there we go, we found it. And now we have cherry trees that we can bring back to our place, and now we don't have to make this trek anymore. Until we need to, you know, come back here for uh, for farming rotten flesh and experience from our spawner, because it is generally around this area. But uh, that's a problem for later me. Oh, and I have 11 bones, so if I really wanted to, I can go back and uh, get that uh, other pup that we found. Another cool, like, waterfall cave situation here. Now, let's see, let's see how cool it is from this angle. Not quite as cool, but... 
Still pretty neat. Actually, I'm gonna duck down here real quick. Some iron right there. Because I want to see... I'd assume it's probably just, like, lichen. Yeah. You never know. There might be a, there might be something down there that you never would have expected. Uh, going, you know, underground and finding cool stuff reminds me. I do really like having, like, amethyst blocks for my enchanting rooms, because it makes it feel more magic and ethereal. So we're gonna have to keep an eye out for amethyst geodes. This looks like it could be another impact crater, honestly. Just, like, at a really weird angle. Such cool, such cool generation. Oh, okay. So there's not actually a whole lot of cherry trees here. But uh, just in case I want to... Can I pick just pick this up with my hands? Oh. I can. Can I make them to die? I can. Oh, okay. Let's grab a couple of these. Never know when you might need them. All right. So uh, this is just going to be kind of boring. So I'll see you back at the house once I have all these knocked down. All right. We're not quite home just yet. It's just over that hill there. But I just had a thought, because this river leads me, like, way far in the southern direction. So I was thinking just now, it might be a good idea to, like, make a tunnel through here at some point that leads out to the ocean. So at any point, I could just boat through that tunnel and make my way back through that way. I could also just kind of, like, carve out this whole area right here and make this, like, a, like a canal and have a bridge going over. That could be a good idea, but that's later down the road. Right now, we need to, like, beautify our house, because house is an issue right now. And now that we're back, we'll be able to plant all of these 46 cherry saplings, and we have a permanent supply of cherry food with which to beautify our house with. Additionally, uh, Snowy probably cut it out, but I did find another Enderman while I was up there, because obviously it was nighttime, and I got ourselves not only another Ender Pearl, but another Grass Block as well, even though, uh, last episode I remembered that, hey, uh, those aren't actually helpful to have anymore, because you can just till dirt. But if there's any other reason I, I would need a Grass Block for, I have one now. But on top of, that's a big tree, on top of the 46 Cherry Sapples that we got, we also got 64 and a little bit a little bit of change for cherry logs. I did use a few just because I didn't want to starve to death, so I went ahead and I made a quick little campsite, so to speak. It was literally a crafting bench and a furnace I stuck into a wall. That it's a you know, let me cook some food so I could actually be alive for the trip back. Oh no, he's encroaching. Oh. So close. Keep setting up them trees, dim trees, dim trees. I want to space them out a little bit. On top of the fact that uh, I think they need a good a, a good amount of space to grow, just to make sure like the leaves don't get connected and make them a total pain in the ass to chop down. I do want this to be like a, a more realistic forested situation. And at some point, just for aesthetic purposes, I might carve out a path and then fill in the uh, the unused space amongst that path with various other types of trees that are not just you know cherry blossoms. And with that, all of our Cherry sapples are all nice and planted. They'll be growing soon enough. And that one over there is going to grow. Enhance. <laughs> Pan left to the zombie that's encroaching. Oh, here he comes. Is he going to make it? All right, zoom out. Is he going to make it? Oh, he's getting close. Ah! Ah! Oh, whatever. Right now, our current goal is to very quickly touch up the outside of the house with our new fancy cherry logs. Oh, wait, hold on. Before we do that, hey, Pops, I'm back. Before we do that, we need to head down to the farm real quick. Say hi to Howie. What's poppin', Howie? Good to see you, buddy. We have three eggs. Uh, Howie, buddy, you there? Uh... All right, cool. Uh, I need you to bless these eggs for me again, just like last time. Go for it. All right, sec. With the blessing of Howie the Babe Zom Chicken Jockey, I hereby say whatever these are going to be babies. All right, Howie, we really need... Hey, I know, shut up. We, we really need to talk about your method here because the eggs just aren't working for me. I know, but it's like not my fault. You're the one, you're the one supposed to do the blessing. I don't think that point's relevant whatsoever. You know what? I'll, I'll let you cool off. We'll talk about it later. Now that... Oh, nope. Whoop, one more thing. One more thing. We gotta cook food while we work so I have, uh, you know, actual things to come back to and eat. And we'll go ahead and put away some of our stuff as well. Now that I actually have, like, the building materials with which to actually flesh out my house a little bit more, I should really focus on specifically building out a storage room. I'm not particularly sure where I'm gonna put it, I might put it outside. That might be kind of cool to have like a storage said like warehousey area outside. I don't think I've done that before because I always, I always put it like in my house. I might have my house be like all of my amenities and stuff and just have my storage be like out here and like maybe overlooking the overlooking the ocean. That might be kind of interesting. It'd also be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but yeah, I 
I can walk, it's fine. Right meow, we have to replace all of this basic dumb oak logs with fancy, refined, durable cherry logs. Cause ooh boy, they look good. Yes sir, hey. Make some of that into cherry wood. Uh, does that look good? Yeah, okay. Hey pops, don't mind me. I'm just gonna do a little bit of remodeling, Stan. Oh, mom, it's okay. I'm th my brain's doing a thinky, don't mind me. Uh, we are gonna, we'll convert all the oak wood into planks real quick. Oh, that looks weird. Okay. We'll worry about the exterior at some point. Right now, we're just gonna do interior. And how does this look with the cherry wood and the oak planks, huh? Oh, uh, pardon me one second. Just gonna thunk thunk. What did I do there before? Why does that look strange? I think I see what I did wrong. This was supposed to come over right there. There we go, that looks like my house. It looks a little strange. At some point, I am gonna wanna replace that with like spruce or dark oak, cause the the, the, the dark cherry color with the semi-bright oak. Let's replace this top part here with cherry planks real quick, just to see the combo looks like. Oh, that looks pretty good. All right, I'll have to, I'll have to, we're gonna, we're gonna worry about like exterior decoration later down the road. Right now we're just gonna do interior. And uh, I guess between the episodes where I'm doing that, we'll go ahead and, uh, <laughs> I'll go ahead and see how like dark oak and cherry go together in uh, like my own time. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna do that right now. We're, we're gonna go together. Saving quits title. We're gonna make a, we're gonna make a super flat creative world. And we're gonna, we're gonna see what color combos we got. Cause we're, we're doing professional Minecraft gaming up in here. Enids. <laughs> That's the plural of different species of penis. <laughs> Super flat world ho. Okay, so let's check out Spoo. And we're just gonna go ahead and grab them. We're gonna get Cherry. We're gonna grab Dems. And now that they're sorted properly, we're also gonna get Dark Oak. And we're gonna see what Dems look like. Ooh, it's a close fight. It's a really close fight. It's a super close fight, actually. Oh, okay, hold on. So I'm just gonna really quickly do a very basic, like, as basic as possible, little house. Okay, for colors? Hmm. I think actually the spruce planks work better. Yeah, okay, hold on. I'm also gonna just really quickly strip the logs to see what that looks like. Yeah, no. Normal logs. We're gonna go with the spruce walls, and we're gonna try dark oak stairs for the, like, the, the shingles and such. How's that look? Ooh, I think I like it. I think I like it a whole lot. Yeah, a combination of the three. Yes, and then cherry, cherry wood. Hold on, let's get some torches in here. Then cherry log roof with cherry plank floor, spruce walls, and then dark oak accents. I think I do like that quite a lot. I'm not sure how I feel about the regular cherry wood. No, actually, you know, it's growing on me. It's growing on me. Come on, let's, let's touch this random house up just a little bit. Yeah, I did some very, very basic, like, depth detailing here, and I'm not sure how I feel about the, the cherry wood here, so let's let's just try stripping it to see if that uh, makes it a little bit better, which I'm already seeing that it's probably not going to, but we'll do it in full just to be safe. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I think cherry, cherry wood work, works good for, like, roofing and, like, flooring, but the exterior is probably still just gonna be, like, spruce or dark oak logs. Let me plug those in real quick, see how, see how those look. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna have the bare cherry logs for the roof, and we're probably gonna have it, like, peeking out like that as well. And then dark oak looks pretty, or spruce looks pretty good. We're gonna try dark oak for the things just now. See if I like that better. Okay, so dark oak is a little bit too pale. So it looks like we're gonna go 
spruce logs for like the frame, spruce planks for the wall, dark oak stairs and such for the accents, and then cherry plank flooring, cherry roof, or cherry log roof. I would say that looks pretty good. So we now have to source two different types of wood. So at least for the time being, we can set up the frame and just the frame. I know where there, I know where there's spruce, but I don't know where there is uh, dark oak. Thankfully, we're not doing exterior detailing for the time being, and since it's dark oak is just going to be accenting and stuff, we won't have to worry about it for the time being. And I already know where there's spruce. We're gonna rename this real quick. Creative testing. Back to the actual world, because we have a interior to fix. So we'll leave that be for the time being. Right meow, now that I have like the wood I would need for very basic stuff, I might dig out... No, no, no. What we're gonna do is we're going to... Yeah, I... Yeah. Okay, uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig out the the floor first because I have the wood to do that And I might do the same for the roof because it's just gonna be it's gonna be you know cherry logs and everything I'm thinking like that's too low Probably this right here is gonna be where the uh, the roof starts So you know what before I turn all my cherry logs into not cherry logs Okay, uh, that gonna work for the time being, just to plug in where I want my uh, where my want my ceiling to be. Um, that pot, that part, I just knocked out real quick, so I can like fill that in with wood later. Do I want to bother knocking out my floor for cherry blossom stuff right now? I probably should because that's gonna be like the content of this video. And uh, the more I think about this, the more I realize that, uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to be <laughs> doing any other stuff other than fancifying the interior of my house for this for this video. That's OK, because at least we're getting something done, I suppose. So, yeah, I think I'm going to put up everything I don't need for this. Um, we'll keep the planks. We'll convert these to planks because we're going to be using planks. And we're going to put up everything else. And we are going to we'll keep my water bucket for safety purposes. I grab our axes and so we're gonna start knocking down some trees and now we have extra food it's time we go chop down some of these very obnoxious chop down trees like look look at this crap maybe i should grab some dirt so i can just work from the top down no i'll i'll go back in if i really need it Everybody, uh, sit up. We're, we're gonna go hang out with the animals real quick. Or the livestock, I, I guess I should say. Damn it. I need everybody out the house, out the house. Come on, let's go. Hey, Howie, got some more additions to your uh, to your pen for a little bit. Don't.
Okay, there we go. The floor is now set in, and it's very look. It's looking very nice and pink. Very nice and pink, in fact. I like it a whole lot. Mm, yes, looking more like a house every day. This is gonna look so much like a house once I actually have like the spruce planks and stuff to, you know, fill out the walls and make it look like a house. <laughs> That's gonna be great. But I think for the time being, the uh, the floor being in is gonna work for me because I still need to get to the like other crap I wanted to do in this episode. And those things consist of, I wanna make an anvil, I wanna make a stone cutter, and ideally I wanna get to, a good helping of coal with which to, uh, you know, smelt all of my stuff in my giant crapinator I use to smelt my stuff. That would be very handy. So, oh boy, I have a lot of pickaxe. But you know what? A lot of pickaxe is exactly what we're looking for, because we gotta get a whole bunch of coal, baby. And I'll keep, I'll keep that thang on me, just in case we bump into something valuable that we might want, that we might want to use. Grab the shield, grab utility boat. And, uh, do we need torches? We do. Don't have any logs to make charcoal with. Okay, uh, let's grab this axe and let's go knock down a tree, turn it into charcoal, and then turn those into torches, because we gotta, we gotta go underground and we need light for that. I'll leave the dogs out with the, uh, with the animals for the time being. Really? Three skeletons? Three less skeletons. Now just for the thing that I wanted to do was knock down a friggin' tree. But look at us, nine pieces of charcoal, which is going to be a decent amount of torches, at least until we can get, uh, so we can actually get, um, coal with which to turn into torches. Uh, do I have any sevens? Any more sevens? Any sevens in chat? Any sevens in chat? I don't think we do. That's good, because that means all of our coal is unified, so we can start from the bottom and then work our way up. I have a couple broken bows now, don't I? Yeah. We'll go ahead and patch those up real quick into a, a bow I can use for a little bit. Keep that in the back pocket as well, just in case. And let's put our axe away. Grab our bow. Put it there. Alright. Uh, I don't like my hotbar, but victim of circumstance. We'll deal with it when the time comes. And at some point, I'm going to make this actually like a, a little viewing platform, because I wanted to make this into a waterfall, but uh, no, I might still do that. Eh, I'm not sure. I, I kind of want to make this like a viewing platform I can just walk out to and it's like a deck, but I did want to originally make this a waterfall. I could have a waterfall coming down and around it. That might be kind of cool, but that's that's way later down the road. We don't have to worry about that right now. That's exterior decoration. All right, let's make nine sets of torches. 36. That'll have to work because I don't have much else. So we could head back to the cave we were at before, you know, the, the cave in the nameless mountain. Which, because I'm recording a lot of these episodes in advance, uh, I don't have a name for yet still because I, no one's been able to comment yet. But I think what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to head over here because there was quite a bit of just random nonsense in this general direction. And random nonsense usually means that there's something to be found here. And ideally, the thing to be found in this general vicinity is a decent amount of coal. I would love to have at least a little bit of coal up above, like above ground. I can turn directly into torches, and then all the other coal I get, I can uh, I can use as fuel. But I don't think that's going to be happening. Ooh, there's a little bit of coal. And by a little bit, I mean literally one. Awesome. We have more actual cave ability down here. Not what I was looking for, but... All roads lead to coal. Oh, I remember this place now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is fine. This works. And if we actually go down here, then that gives us a good chance of finding iron as well, which... Uh, that will inevitably mean we can get closer to our other objectives, being stone cutter and uh, and anvil. Anvil is going to be an issue because that's a lot of iron, but we have full iron armor for the time being, and it's going to last us for a little bit. We can dedicate most of our iron once we get it. Hey! I didn't get scared shitless by a creeper. You did. Shut up. <laughs> I think I jumped harder just then than I did in like the entirety of my <laughs> my security beach playthrough. Oh, no, there are some pretty good ones in Security Breach. I hear another cute bat, but that's not what I'm looking for right now. Oh, it's so dark and such. Damn Optify not being updated yet. I can't see two feet in front of my face. It's pissing me off. Uh, yeah, I'm not... I'm not seeing a whole lot of coal in here. I think I gotta go deeper for coal. I don't know the, uh, the levels for all the new ore generation, but I might be... You know, just blow up. That was dumb and stupid. He didn't make any noise. Wow, if I didn't see him, that would have been rough. I might just turn around, grab all my torches, and leave, because this is not seeming to be very fruitful. Like, there's, there's like, zero crap. There's some coal. 
categorically a little bit of coal. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, th that looks like that was two veins that were next to each other. This is what we're looking for. Now we're cooking with gas. All right, if this leads down more, in, like more into the cave, I might turn around, turn all of this coal into torches, and then come back. Because this seems like it could be a, a fruitful venture if we actually uh, dedicate ourselves to going down farther. And there goes my first pick. All right, how much farther? Uh, looks like it could be quite the adventure. So yeah, let's. We have 31 coal. That'll be plenty of torches. So let's head back real quick and turn those into torches. All right, torches have been acquired. I'm back in the cave. Let's follow our trail back, and I missed some coal right here. Follow our trail back and see about uh, actually delving deeper into this cave. What secrets could lie below? An amethyst geode, maybe? Maybe the underdark or whatever the place is called. The depths. The dark. The depths. The dark. <laughs> Ow. That was a much farther fall than I thought it would be. So here's a question for y'all, right? Do you find it easier to see in caves in Minecraft when you're mining at night? Because I feel like I do. I feel like for whatever reason, it's just, ooh, I missed a lot of iron right here. This this little this little bit of copper down there completely threw me off and maybe ignore this part. I saw it in my periphery. I just didn't register that it was iron up here. But I find it like it's just a little bit brighter all the way down in the undergrounds at nighttime. It, it makes me think there's like a global lighting effect where like to simulate ambient occlusion, I guess. No, adaptive exposure, not ambient occlusion. There's different things. It like simulates adaptive exposure by making like all the dark slightly brighter at nighttime, if that makes any sense. Maybe it's just because I sat up more and I was kind of laxing back because, you know, I'm playing Minecraft. I can chill out. But uh, it really, I really feel like it's actually a thing where if it's nighttime, it is a lot like not well not a lot it's a little bit brighter out to make sure that you can still kind of see even on like low brightness level 25 baby we're getting closer to be able to use those enchantments tables that we got we don't scots an enchantments table because we haven't even found diamonds yet all right all right we're not finding a whole lot of iron but one of my things on the to-do list was to get a whole bunch of coal in fact, I think the thing I wrote down was uh, many thousands of coal. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. It's been really helpful having like a to-do a to list written down. Never really bothered doing it before, even though the fact that, you know, I have an, an attention disability that at uh, that, this point I'm not sure is ADD or ADHD. It's probably ADHD. But they always tell you, hey, uh, if you're having trouble with like, you know, getting things done and remembering to do stuff, make a to-do list. And I was like, that's stupid. My brain works good. You're calling me a dumb and saying my brain don't work. And then my brain doesn't work, and I forget what I need to do. <laughs> but hey, I'm doing it now, that's the important thing. Ooh, wow, this goes way, way deep down. There might actually be, like, deep dark, that's what it's called, the deep dark. I kept going to under dark. There might actually be deep dark down there, which uh, we are not even, like, slightly ready for. So we'll go ahead and ignore it if we do bump into uh, any nefarious sound 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 listening individuals, I guess, is the direction I was going with that. Which could be said, a great many things fall under the category of anything with working ears, so to speak. How are we doing on iron? 15. That is not nearly enough for our goals of having an anvil. But we're getting there. And we are getting there in style. Be very, very careful about my surroundings, because... Usually when I'm playing Minecraft, I'm like listening to other stuff, but obviously with the fact that I am recording a video right now. Oh, there was a glow squid over there. That's what that was. Obviously with the fact, oh, there's a mine shaft. I keep getting distracted. Obviously with the fact that I'm recording a YouTube video right now, I kind of have to not be listening to other shit. But uh, normally, obviously I listen, I listen to stuff when I play Minecraft because I can just turn my brain off and enjoy Minecraft while like listening to uh, a live stream or something. So not, oop. Oh, that's unfortunate. Where does this lead? Oh, flooded cavern, cool. Uh, that's incredibly obnoxious, though, so we're gonna go ahead and plug that back up. Ooh, lapis! Speaking of enchanting stuff... There we go. Plug it up. I don't want it. Get out of here. Wait, can you mine lapis with stone? I'm not gonna take the risk. Thank you, blue. Go away, blue. But yeah, I, I normally, like, listen to stuff when I'm playing Minecraft, so it's, like, really laid-back, chill, whatever. And people talk about, like, Minecraft not being as scary as it used to be, because Minecraft used to be, like, scary. 
it used to be very unnerving going down into caves on your own. And honestly, I think that's not like an issue with like Minecraft changing or whatever. Obviously it's changed, but I think that's just more an issue of it being a more normalized thing to like for people to just be listening to something in the background with the, like what they're doing. Obviously, you know, since on demand music has been a thing, people have been listening to stuff in the background while they do stuff for years. But I feel like it's more normalized now because of how popular things like Twitch and like podcasts have become, where there's a wider variety of stuff for people to listen to. And there's people out there who aren't like crazy about music. Obviously, they like music because everyone likes music, but they don't like they don't need to listen to music to like function. <laughs> so with the fact that there's more options for stuff to listen to, like podcasts and stuff, I feel like it's more, more people have started like listening to stuff in the background than, you know, a decade or so ago. No, well, even more than that, actually, like mid to late 2000s. Because back then, even with like the onset of like the iPod, the iPod and the iPod touch coming out, there are still people like with like these big chunky DVD players because iPods are expensive and they already had those. So I, I just feel like now with all of the like advancements in like content consumption and the accessibility of just having content in our pockets at any given time, so long as we have like data or internet access on our phone, obviously. It's just, it's a more common thing for people to be listening to, and once you can take your focus off of, ooh, redstone, once you can take your focus off of specifically Minecraft, it becomes like less off-putting to be down in the underground by yourself. But the moment you don't have anything in the background, it gets, uh, it, it, th that same feeling comes back and you are suddenly off put. And I feel like um, among the thing of, you know, people just overplaying their reactions and whatnot for content, I feel like that's another good reason that uh, YouTubers react a lot more. When they're playing Minecraft, they get scared easier because the likelihood of them being listening to stuff in the background is a lot lower. Streamers, maybe, because they'll probably have like music going to like for themselves and also like their chat and everything. It, it makes sense to me that when you don't have anything going on in the background and, you know, Minecraft's not playing its very intermittent music, it, it can still be kind of scary. When I was uh, being silent to myself and, you know, walking back after making torches and stuff, as I was getting back to the cave and it was getting dark i did feel a little bit tense just because i was not talking no music was playing i don't have anything going on in the background and it was just basically silent and uh i got i got the little twinge of uh old school minecraft when i used to play i like a lot Ooh, that's a cave spider hold on let's see if we can let's see if we can silly this guy silly 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 all right let's do this smart because i want to i don't want to die to cave spiders uh can i use water to clear these up I can, haha. -ha. All right, sweet. So we're gonna do this smart, and we're just gonna casually make our way over there. We're gonna break the spawner, cause I, I'm not gonna need a spider spawner anytime soon, and I just don't wanna deal with cave spiders. Make your way over there. Ooh, I hear an Enderman. Watch out, buddy, incoming. Ooh, there's gold right there. Yeah, here, spider. Yeah. Where is the spawner? There it is. Okay. Yeah, you're in the water. And dealt with. Okay, so now we just have a, a couple cave spiders to deal with. And it looks like they might be stuck. Alright, cool. From here, I can handle a cave spider. They don't pro-dodge all of my swings. There we go. Nothing to it. Put away all that string we just got. Ooh, that's a lot of iron, and there's that coal, er, gold right there. They rhyme. I, I confused myself. Ooh, tough gold ore. Wow. So it was a very, very good idea to come down here. Finally decide to keep going. I knew there was something down here. The moment I saw that there was a giant tunnel leading down to infinity, I knew there was going to be something down here. And that something just so happened to be an abandoned mineshaft. Which, there's one thing I know about mineshaft, they got a whole hecky lot of resources. And those resources can potentially mean a whole hecky lot of iron. And that gets all of my bases covered. I just have, I have just barely under a stack of coal, which is not nearly as much as I would want. Because I have like, let's say, uh, I have a three columns. No, I have six columns of three and uh, 18. I have 18 furnaces and I got to fill all of those up with coal. So, yeah, um, we'll light this up with three, so I know where the uppies is. Wakes for me! Ooh, this is kind of a, a winding, 
very winding. Okay, so well, that that's out. I'll mark that like that. Oy. Uh, ooh, chest. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll have that be out. Five iron ingots and a gapple. We'll take those. More torches, always good. All right, I think we're, we're in a good spot. Yeah, we ha I think we have like more than enough for an anvil. So we'll preemptively knock that off the board. We have our anvil. And I don't think a stone cutter is all that like expensive. I think it only needs like a, a stick and then a slab or something. <gasps> an amethyst geode, yes! Oh, oh, that's so good. That's exactly what I was looking for. Wow, we have an abandoned mine shaft that goes into an amethyst geode. Hell yeah, screen cap. Uh, we're gonna leave that be for the time being because I don't have silk touch and I don't really need amethyst right now. Uh, I could make a, I could make a telescope, I guess, because I have copper. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's head down and see if there's any, like, fully grown thing, like amethyst nubbins I can grab. You, my friend, are a douche. Right, let's just use this diorite to, like, build stairs. Alright, uh, we're looking for the sparkly, you're big. Give me you. Alright. I'm pretty sure a telescope only needs, like, one of them, so we'll have that that. Yeah, hold on, dude. Try and do something here. Hello, bat. You're in danger. And we'll just do that. And... Another ender pearl. All right. Uh, not quite what we're looking for right now. So we'll come back. We have the coordinates of the amethyst geode whenever we need it. Let's continue exploring other parts of this abandoned mine shaft. There might be more chest magoos. And chest magoos would be very, very helpful, because that means free crap. And we'll have that up like that, and we'll have these come around so I can access all of them. Oh, is this deep slate? Oh, we found deep slate. Cool. That was basalt before. All right. Okay. So we'll just mark this up with torches like that. That's nice, bright, and obvious, so I know where I come from. And this is not a dead end. So, oh, hold on, I got myself lost. This is back. Ooh, hello, Iron. I still always need you. Let's head down first, because uh, we might run into diamonds. I have no idea what level diamonds show up at anymore, like at all. But there's no way of no. Oh, cool! At least the amethyst geode. Neat. I didn't pick up the ender pearl because I was out of space. Okay, cool. Uh, calcite looks good. Uh, deep slice everywhere, and so is basalt in the Nether. So we'll just drop all that. And why is this cobble separate? There we go. All right, ender pearl. It's a good thing I came back, because uh would have lost that one ender pearl. And I missed a little bit of iron right here. We have an infinite supply of rotten flesh, so we'll just go ahead and drop that just for extra space. Head back up here. That just leads down to the amethyst geode. Very helpful. You know, the more I use my pickaxes, the more space I will have, because I will eventually break them <laughs> and have more space. So maybe we just get more on the ball with breaking crap. All right, that's back. We have ourselves another chest here. Another name tag, always good. Bread, seeds, and rails. Yeah, we'll stack up the bread and we'll leave it there. Um, because I have food and I don't have space. So, we don't really need that right now. More lapis. Don't mind if I dizzle. Getting a lot of lapis, a lot of copper, not a whole lot of coal, which is what ideally I would want most from this situation. Oh, I could always sacrifice some of these. Yeah, okay, you know, here's what I'm going to do, okay? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to really quickly head back up to where that first chest cart was, and I'm going to put a good amount of my stone pickaxes inside that chest cart, both to make space for me right now and to, like, have a backup in case I come down here again and I, like, desperately need a pickaxe. So this is like a little care package. We'll keep three on me, the rest will stay in here. So that'll be our, our little care package chest cart. So now that we have space, we now have much more space. In fact, we can actually go around and, like, loot some crap and actually bring back a good amount of resources and not have 90% of my inventory be taken up by friggin' pickaxes. I don't know why I'm bothering getting redstone. Oh, no, yes I do, because I wanted to, down the road, I wanted to try putting up, like, an automated harvesting system, because I've never done that before, because I'm completely redstone illiterate. Actually, I'm gonna take this opportunity, can I mine lapis with... Oh, you can! New knowledge has been acquired. Now, right, we still got a 64 stack of torches, so we're not gonna be... I don't have to worry about, like, light for the time being. Uh, did I go down this way? I don't think I did. 
No, I didn't, because and that's a good thing I checked, because there's another chest cart here. Cool. Another gapple, some more iron, a little bit of a refresh on torches. I'll take it. Ooh, those powered rails might come in hand. Oh, those are activator rails. Never mind. Is this just a dead end? Yes, it is. I'm going to check to see if there's any, like, resources. Doesn't look like it. All right. Let's continue more down this hallway. Let's not break off left. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to have to be higher for coal, because... I'm seeing a lot of iron now, which is which I'm happy about, but uh gonna need a gonna need a good bit of coal to like smelt it all down and everything. Uh that's not as far as I thought it would be. I physically had to get closer to be able to see because it was so dark down there. Ooh, Uppy. Where does Uppy lead, huh? Leads to gold. Works for me. I think I'm basically not going to find coal at this depth. Which means I should probably turn around and like Start heading back up and just keep my eye out. At the same time, I could use this opportunity to try and find diamonds. Even then, I'm not sure if I'm deep enough for that. I feel like diamonds would be, like, really far down. With this whole, like, new generation and whatnot. We are the lazy generation. Remember that song? Didn't burn out. Alright, that sounds like more cave spiders, which... Not particularly happy about, but... Nothing we can't deal with. You know, probably. Yep, cave spiders. All right, come at me one at a time. Oh, you're just a regular spider. Ooh, new Minecraft music. I like it. Speaking of new, cobwebs make a new noise when you, uh, when you smack them. At least I think they do. I feel like they used to make, like, just, like, the grass noise. I think we're probably safe from the spiders. Yeah, I think he's probably, like, stuck right there. So I'm gonna do the smart thing, and I'm gonna turn my back. <laughs> you silly little bugger. Heh, <laughs> bug, get it? See, you gotta, you gotta fake him out. You gotta make him think you let your guard down. In reality, it's higher than ever. Ooh. Is that a fucking skeleton spawner, baby? That it is. Oh, you little bugger. Okay, this is an unfortunate situation. Concern it, I actually let my guard down that time. All right, two episodes. Two episodes, two spawners. I mean, not counting like the stupid, boring cave spider spawners that are everywhere. All right, all right, all right, all right. We now have access to both a zombie spawner and a skeleton spawner. That is awesome. Especially with the fact that, you know, skeleton spawners are actually, like, useful. <laughs> That's super cool. Is that a mending book? Ah, Unbreaking 3. And we got cat. And another name tag. And some more iron. And some more coal. And back a bucket if I feel like grabbing it, but I don't. Wow! Three whole more name tags and another gapple. All right, sweet. We have ourselves another uh, spawner under our belt. Coordinates locked. We can come back here whenever we want. And uh, this will be absolutely turning into a mob grinder because uh, bones, arrows, infinite supply. Hell yes. Okay, I think we're going to use that as our indicator that we should probably leave because that's, that's peak right there. I don't think we're going to be beating that. We might find diamonds, but at the same time, we may not. That's another cave spider, isn't it? Yep, I see green. No, thank you. Okay, I don't see any, like, chess cards anywhere, so we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and just turn around, start heading back in the general direction we came from, and hope that uh, we can make it back alive. Make it back alive. I'm gonna preemptively make a little staircase up there in case I want to check it out. But we'll be coming back here when, uh, you know, I have uh, a need to use the spawner, which will happen. Okay, uh, even if we actually, I mean, we didn't quite uh, meet the goal of uh, many thousands of coal, like I mentioned, but we supplemented that with finding a skeleton spawner. So I feel like we can, we're, we're fine there. So we can, we can finish off with uh, making my anvil and my stone cutter, and that'll be good. Uh, did I get that's the amethyst geode? Where did I go back from here? Is it this way? Yeah. Okay, that's what that's what the two was for. And then put it on the right and just follow it back. Wow, what cr This seed is awesome. There's an abandoned mineshaft near spawn. The abandoned mineshaft has a skeleton spawner in it. 
We found a whole bunch of like crazy world generation that just looks awesome. We found that zombie spawner relatively nearby where we found like two different biomes that have wolves in them. It is a damn good thing that like I actually like put in a seed and can share with people. Obviously I can just, you know, do slash seed at any point, but the fact that I have the seed in the first episode, if anyone wants to use that seed, then they totally can. Wow. I'm very, very happy with this world so far. I, I feel I feel like I feel like we picked a banger. I wonder if that spawner is far enough away from Oh wait, no, yeah, I just remembered. Uh the spawner no. I was going to make that broken nether portal that we found into a regular nether portal. So with that being as far away as it is, we could totally just, you know, make a nether teleporter to it. To the spawner, I mean. So I might, yeah, I might have, we're, we're going to use the broken nether portal as our nether portal because it's with, with, it's within walking distance. It's going to be like a minute to get there, maybe. And we could always just like set up a highway, like a rail system to get to it. So I think with that in mind, we're just going to set up some nether portals as like a hub to go to the various spawners. That is super cool. All right, let's put away our random crap. And boy, howdy, do we have a lot of random crap. Uh, so much random crap, in fact, that I think we're probably going to have to worry about actually making a storage thing at some point. So that'll probably be next episode. Uh, but before we do that, let's really quickly see if I remember how to make a telescope. Yeah, spyglass, that's what it's called. So now we actually have the ability to zoom. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I find that really funny with the fact that, you know, my skin's obviously Vixie and her right eye is covered. This is entirely unhelpful to me. This doesn't work. <laughs> now we can press F1 and zoom wherever we wish. Wowie zowie. Cool. Keep that in the back pocket. Put all our random pickaxes away. Um, we'll worry about sorting our inventory when we actually have a, uh, you know, a storage system in place. But uh, that's going to be a little bit because it's going to be next episode. Random crap ho. And we'll just we'll put that in here just because it's less crowded. Put cat in with my other discs and egg. Let's let's play the pups a visit and see if uh, if, if their luck, along with Howie Howie's blessing, will make it so we can actually have a, a chick show up. Hey Howie, I have an egg for you. You know what to do. All right, cool. Blah blah blah. Bless the egg. Go. Swing and a miss. All right, we now have five name tags, which is like three name tags short. We would need to name all of the pups we currently have. So we're, we're getting there. But let's see real quick. Do I know how to make a stone cutter? I do. Okay, cool. What do I need? Uh, an iron ingot and three smooth stone. Noted. So yeah, okay. Uh, stone cutter is done. A grindstone is what I need. Okay, I apparently don't know how to make a grindstone. But I think I know. I think it's like cobble, cobble, stick, stick, slab. I think it's a smooth stone slab in the middle. I don't remember. Um, either way, we get we gotta smooth we gotta smooth some stone anyway. So we're gonna really quickly just lay out our cool as such. Yeah, that's not nearly as much as I wanted. But hey, we'll work with that. Go ahead and load up all of our furnaces just like that now let's get these sorted out this should be like that then we can spread them out as such not quite okay so let's grab all that again and do six across like that that and then that gives us enough space for all those to be eight we can have a copper here and then let's just have We'll do 16 stone, which we can convert to regular stone and smooth stone. And I need to go grab my gold because I accidentally put it away. Yeah. Raw gold, split that in half. More eight stacks. That's only one coal from each furnace minus the bottom right one, which will work. You gotta be efficient when you're using all the resources that you are. Stand in the place that you were and face north. All right. That's... That's, that's schmelton now. Go ahead and put away this. We're gonna turn this iron we have into an iron block. We're gonna need three of those. And funnily enough, we have four for the, uh, for the iron on the bottom. I wonder, do I still have that resource pack that, like, makes armor invisible? I do not. Well, that's a shame. I'll see about just, like, getting it in the next episode, because it's very, uh, nostalgic and cool. Actually, wait, no. Armor decorations are a thing in this update, like armor linings and stuff. So maybe I shouldn't like get that usual resource pack of making armor invisible. That'd be an idea. Okay, I can't really think of, ooh, wow. Yes, I can. 
was about to say, I can't think of anything to do while I wait for my stuff to smelt, and then I remembered, hey, I have a bunch of crops that I haven't done anything with, so we will actually be able to uh, breed our animals. Something we have uh, been yet to do. All right, let's go breed some of the animals so we can start, like, actually getting up our own meat supply. Chicken, chi oh, right, that was Howie's chicken. Sheep and cows, sheep and cows, come here, sheep and cows. Come here, come here. All right, sheep, sheep, cows, cows. Uh, do I have two chickens? I don't think I do. Yeah, because I was, I was banking on the, the eggs making a second chicken, so that didn't work out. Hup. Well, okay, well, if nothing else, we got one more sheep and one more cow. So, uh, baby steps, we'll be getting there. It'll exponentially increase from there. And while we're down here, let's go ahead and harvest our sugarcane as well. At some point, I will be making an actual, like, sugarcane farm area, instead of just having it be on the... <laughs> on the edge of the coastline. But we have a lot under our belt, with this being a brand new Minecraft series, so... We'll get there when we get there. And see, so I don't have two chickens, I'll go ahead and convert all this into bone meal. And store all our crops in there. We'll keep the bone meal in there as well, because the compost is right there. Grab you, and put you in here. I'll worry about converting the sugarcane into paper when I actually, you know, have the ability to do stuff with the paper. Right now, I do not have the uh, amount of cows I would need and the amount of leather to make book. Actually, I have a little bit of leather, I think. So I might actually make a couple books while I'm at it. But for the time being, we're making anvil right now. Because that's that's what we're that's what we're, we're, we went out for. So we need two more iron blocks, just like that. And now, I'll just go ahead and just do that. Thunk. I made this a lot more annoying on myself for no reason, just for aesthetics purposes. And anvil. All right, knock that off the board. And now we can do stood a bit bit stone cutter. And now we just need to remember how to do. Grindstone. Oh, what? there we go. We just unlocked the recipe for it. Okay. Uh, thanks. I did not want to try and remember. Grindstone. Is it smooth stone slab? It's just a stone slab. Okay, it's a good thing I checked. So plank sticks in a slab. Plank, plank. Stick, stick. Plank, plank. Wait, I grabbed two planks. What the hey? Plank, 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 stick, stick, slab, grindstone. Cool. And I guess we'll just set this up, like, right here. Aha. That's unfortunate. Um, tell you what. We'll, uh, we'll move the stone cutter over here and we'll make a second anvil. <laughs> there we go. More anvils. So now we can carve stone for whatever purposes we would need to do that. We can... Enchant stuff with books and things, and rename things. More importantly, rename name tags for all the pups we will be having. And, disenchant stuff. So will go ahead and put all of our crap away, and harvest this one thing of wheat that just grew. Sake of it, I guess. Replant. Seed seed. Alright, we haven't put our walls in yet, but we put a portion of our ceiling and the, uh, the entirety of our floor for the time being in. We got ourselves two anvils, a grindstone and a stone cutter. We got a good amount of coal to stock us up for a little bit. And we got ourselves a now never ending supply of cherry trees out front. Looking very pink and very good. And looking at my to-do list, that means I've knocked everything off of my list, minus the many thousands of coal, but we supplemented that with the stone cutter, I guess. No, the grindstone. <laughs> Oh, and the, the spawner, of course. The skeleton spawner we found that I made a huge deal about. Oh, I'll take my armor off for the, for the, like, closing off the video. So that means that we are officially done with the second episode of Minecraft I recorded immediately after the first because I love Minecraft and I just wanted to play Minecraft more. Should I say Minecraft one more time? Minecraft. If you've genuinely enjoyed this video, consider dropping a like, and make sure to hit that subscribe button to become a pup if you haven't already, and hit the bell so it actually does something. If you want to support me in the channel, you can do so on Patreon for just $5 a month and you'll get a bunch of cool perks. Shout out to all of my current patrons, your support is very much appreciated and I love you all very much. My name's Vixie and I will see you all in the next one.